Alright, I wanted to kind of quickly talk you guys through what's going on with making custom cams and how these cams are actually going to work. So first off with the ones that I made you make. You have the snail, you have the pear, you have the eccentric, you have a hexagon, and the motion of these, like the snail will continually increase until it gets to a certain point. So that's when it gets around to this point right here, and they'll have a sharp drop. And that's what this represents here. And it'll start the same graph over again, and it'll keep rotating. There's only 360 degrees in a circle, which is why we only have this go out to 360, and then it repeats back at zero again. Okay, your pair cam, because this is one steady radius all the way around, the bottom half is a circle, right? We have this lull where nothing happens. And then it gets to here, and here's where the radius starts getting longer before it goes back to being the same old thing again. So it'll do nothing, 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 up, down, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay? So your pair cam is going to have this kind of a motion to it. And your eccentric, because this is where we are taking the distances from, it'll have a short radius, and it gets a little bit longer, and a little bit longer, and a little bit longer, and then back down to being shorter, and shorter, and shorter, and shorter. And so it's going to have this continuous sine wave, where it increases and decreases, and increases and decreases. There's no lull to it, there's no sudden drops to it, but it does have that going for it. Okay, if you want to make a custom cam, uh, we have the polar graph paper, and I'll show you how we can use that on Inventor, because I, I have a video of how to make it on Inventor, but let's say that you know exactly what you want your cam to do, and at zero, uh, you want it to start, also notice up here, sorry, I know I'm jumping around a little bit, but our our max size for the box the inside of the box is exactly four inches so the radius the distance from the center out can't be bigger than two so I really want to cap this off at 1.9 just in case you glue things together funny or you don't draw your hole perfectly in the center so your cam will still fit inside your box so this is the biggest cam we could possibly make is right up here somewhere okay so let's say that whatever object you're making, you want the rotation to start a half inch above the box. So you'd have one point there. And then at 45 degrees, uh, you want that to jump up a little bit to, let's say, 0.9. And then to just stay there for a little while. Okay. And then maybe it's going to jump up again to one point three and stay there for a little while and then go back down again to I don't know we'll say point seven alright if this is the path we're going to take if this is the path we're going to take then we need to get our uh, polar grid paper and we're going to mark where these points would be on this. So we said at a half inch, and if you count, there's eight of these little circles. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, between zero and one. So if I go one, two, three, four, that would be a half. And then I'm going to go around to 45. 45 degrees, we said it was uh, real close to one. So here's my 45 line, and it's going to be about, let's say, 0.9. I'll mark it in there. And then at uh, 135, we were still at that same line. So here's my 135 line, and I'm still on the same circle ring here. Okay, and then it jumped up to at 180 to 
So there's my 180. That's 1. That'd be 1 1.3, uh, probably somewhere in here. So it's like, what we say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, so we're going to go up about, oh, let's just go up about 3. Okay. And then it hangs out there at 270 again. So here's my 270. If I follow the circle around to there. And at 360, which should be all the way back up here again, it's going to fall to, we said about 0.6. So it's going to go up a little bit from there now. If I go back through here and I connect my dots, I go from this to here, I'm drawing this with a mouse so it's not going to look the prettiest, but this is what my custom cam would look like, roughly. Uh, this is where the center of it would be. And we're going to make the quarter inch square drive, right? And you can make this look much prettier on Inventor, I promise you. But this is how you would make your custom cam to get it to do the motion that you want. If you know what motion that's going to be, we can design it like that. Let's take a look at how to use this with the uh, polar paper on Inventor. So here I have a sketch pulled up. I'm going to right click and say center point circle. But I'm going to right click and change my thing from radius or from diameter to radius here. So now it's measuring uh, from the center out. And my first point was at 0.5. So I'm going to type in 0.5, enter. My second one was at uh, 0.8. Was it 0 0.9? 0 0.9. Then I had one over here at 1.3. And my last one was at 0 0.7. Okay. I'm going to move this around so I can see just a little bit better of what it is I'm looking at. And I'm going to make a single line. It needs to go up above it. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to say circular pattern of this line around this center and we need eight of them okay and let's just highlight everything we have right click and make those all construction lines and now we're going to go to our points we're going to start the first point and that's going to be at zero degrees just like what we did on our paper on our polar grid if I can find here at zero degrees we're going to go up to a half inch so I'll make a dot there, and then at 135, or actually over here at 45, we went up to our 0.9, and that was this one, and that stayed that way for the next couple. It jumped up to the next circle here and stayed that way for a while. And then it suddenly dropped back down to this last circle over here. And we can assume it 
went down one in between there. Okay. So let's go back to. Uh, we can use lines, we can use arcs. Let's just use lines. Now we're going to go from point to point. So we already made this. Like a little roadmap for ourselves of where things should be. Alright, we did have one point kind of escape us. Let's make sure it's on. this line here, and it doesn't want to, that's okay. We'll just leave it be. This get, this should give you a pretty good idea of what this would look like. Let's do a quick, uh, I don't like two-point rectangles right now, let's do a two-point center. So to find where the center is, we say it's 0.25 by 0.25. And if we go to extrude this whole thing, say it's 0.125 thick, there would be a custom cam. And if you want to make it look nicer, we can grab fillets. And we can pick these hard edges here and round them all out. So now it's a little more smooth in between. Um, and there's other things we could do to it as well. But this is how you can make a custom cam. And this will give us the movement that we said that we wanted at 45 and 135 and all those different degrees.